This is Danny Aaron speaks on young Philly arrest. This whole this whole situation, I don't know what I do. You know what I mean, what do I do, lads? I found out the same time as you lot, probably later. To be fair, because I'm not gonna lie, I overslept. Lads, I'm as shocked as you lot are. I'm just like hand on heart, generally. I'm as shocked as you lot are. Look, I'm just gonna play FIFA, man. Like, let's just chill, <laughs> play the RTG, like. <laughs> what do you want me to do, mate? <laughs> what do you want me to do, mate? <laughs> okay, no problem, mate. Maybe condemn the actions? No, it's too too much for that, isn't it? Okay, no, I understand. Um, but yeah, so th here's a post um, showing young Philly leaving the police station. Actually, there's kind of there's various angles actually, which is fucking sad. So <laughs> the various angles of him entering and leaving the police station. Um, let me play the clip for you here. <laughs> He's running into the police station. And then that's him leaving the police station. There's another angle as well here to play but yeah it's just it's wild man it's fucking wild it's also weird because in a weird way is he probably realizing just how famous he is by the reaction to this arrest for this alleged rape maybe he kind of wasn't actually aware of how successful he had become how much he had achieved how much his name was did ring bells because the reaction to it's been crazy right it's been like you know you think oh shit this guy's actually really famous or maybe it's me not being aware of how famous he was, but I think some of the coverage behind it is like it's been it's been everywhere. Maybe on my maybe because I'm tuning into a lot of the information so or the news, I'm seeing more of it on my feed. But there's been a ton of people online talking about this, a ton, a ton of people. So it must be bittersweet because now you're realizing how famous you are, but you're realizing how famous you are because you're being alleged of a rape, something super heinous. So it must be an awful, awful situation to be in. And then there's another clip here I also want to play. This is Young Philly's victim's friend speaks out for the first time and talks about the night it happened. So let's see what this person said. Again, we don't know if this is true. This could be a, a meme or whatever. But let's watch this. So this uh, appears like it's a TikTok stream of one content creator who then decided to um what's that thing called? Who then decided to host um one of the people on there who was a friend of the victim, I think. So that basically is a premise of what we're seeing here. So let's see what they said here regarding this situation. This, this should be interesting to sort of like see if this is bodes well for young philly or not <laughs> you have all the time in the world mm -hmm. i'm listening to you i'm here we are here <laughs> take your time you say what you want to say you don't want to say it's absolutely fine we yes. are here do you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. okay so, i'm just getting People are saying to get to the point, so I'm just going to get no, to the no, point. No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen to me. Don't worry about these rascal art people, you understand? Because I'll lock off comments, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. And to be honest, they're not liking up the live like they're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll mm -hmm. shut this shit off, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I want you to be comfortable in telling this story because we absolutely need to get to the bottom of this shit, do you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I, I'm not sitting on here for fucking three hours. So, you know what I'm saying? Be rushed. Okay, I'm well, come on, come not. on, ladies. So, Shut up, let the girl speak. Cheyenne, take Jesus your time. Christ. You, She wanted to go back to yours to get ready for a night with Philly, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Go. Yeah. So, the club, so the club was literally in town. I lived in town, so me and this other girl, we were in the club where Philly was, and as soon as she left, my friend that was going to get ready to go see him, as soon yeah. as she left... Hold on, this girl doesn't sound Australian. Is this another rape or is this is this the same one? This, From what I read in the article, it sounded like he allegedly raped somebody while he was on tour in Australia. Or is the girl in Australia English? Because she, she doesn't sound Australian to me. Billy started like whining on some other girl. Even though all that night, like she, he was like, you know, telling, I don't know how's what I say name, telling the, my friend like, oh, you know, come back with me, come back with me. Um, Wait, but were they together or not? No, they're not, no, they weren't together. Like, they just used to see each other. So every time they go to a club together, yeah. oh, they see each other on the same night, they'd always leave together. Like, always. Okay. Always, yeah. Um, so anyway, so that happened. And as soon as I, I messaged her, I told her, like, look, he's literally whining some, on some other girl. She comes back within, like, five, ten minutes because I didn't live too far. And 
next minute he's messaging her saying, oh, come to the car, come to the car, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And he's literally messaging her, like, abuse, like, saying, like, I'm, I'm leaving you, I don't care, like, you know. And so I've got a video of this, by the way. So we go to the back of the club, um, me and my friend, and then the girl that's going back with Philly, like, she gets in his car and he's literally shouting at her saying like no get out get out i don't want you here anymore like you're taking your time whatever whatever um so anyways later that night why is she like making her mouth big and like going crazy like it's not that it's toxic but this doesn't like uh give us an indication that this guy's a rapist or anything does it he's just toxic and a bit annoying and a bit forward and a bit much right but I don't think this is like that shocking, this visit in patient. I think this is what most most guys who live the lifestyle that Philly was living, where you're basically using your fame as a way to just fuck loads of randoms. Essentially, you all kind of turn out like this, isn't it? Like sex pesty, right? A little bit like pushy and on it and, you know, a lot. That's kind of what you turn into, unfortunately, because you're, you know, every decision that you make outside of you performing is kind of dictated by your dick. So, you know you end up being desperate and gaggy and a little bit annoying and clingy and whatever it's just it's abusive but i don't think that is a prerequisite to raping somebody i don't think so i think the crime of rape is devoid from being a, i think you can be a sex pest without being a rapist if that makes sense there's probably a lot of it which it's probably not a good thing to say because being a sex pest is still a bad thing but i think you can be a sex pest right you can be a almost um you can be an ethical sex pest <laughs> and not be a rapist i think they're two different things personally because i feel like there's an argument now on social with people basically saying oh young felix you just should have locked one thing down you should have settled you should have got a good wife a good black woman it's like bro it's not about having a wife or a black woman that you're gonna not cheat you know it's almost like and almost also like treating black women as if they're like these like genies right <laughs> it's weird too right a good black woman will set you down as if they're like these mammies or something it's like this woman and your mum, I mean, this is whatever. But um, I think like, you know, conflating the fact that somebody is maybe, I, I, like being sexually promiscuous, I don't think is a prerequisite to rape. In, I don't know, maybe I'm speaking out of turn. I don't think it is. Um, I think it's reckless, personally. I think if you're a celebrity, I think it's reckless to fuck all your fans, like all of them, and to actively chase all of them. I think it's very, very reckless. It's unnecessary. Um. You just need to chill and take it easy, really. If some if, if shit comes your way that you can chop down, cool. But actively, you know, every encounter you have with a woman when you're a social media famous person turns into you trying to, like, spit game. Tranquilo. Calma. Calma, calma, calma. Because sometimes, you know, you might end up in a situation. But it doesn't mean you're a rapist. It was around, like, three in the morning. She goes to his hotel. She rings me and she says, she's, like, whispering. She's saying, like, oh, like, Siren, can you can you come like get an uber from me like whatever and i was like are you okay and she said no big up coiler <laughs> big up coiler in the stream chat <laughs> i think it's what i said earlier yeah it's called being a stand-up comedian i'm sure that was in reference to what i just said five minutes ago you're a fucking legend no like you know i need to go and she's like, actually no wait one minute one minute anyways so later that morning she told me what actually happened so she wanted to leave around three in the morning when she called me but then he apparently she said oh you're either staying and take take your clothes off or you're leaving so she stayed because they had history and she just felt like you know he had all this power like she just felt so gullible in the moment um so to make this story even worse to make this story even worse he's raping he allegedly had raped somebody that he already had a prior sexual relationship with a consenting one even though he was an asshole to this girl wasn't the best company was a little bit pushy was a little bit abusive manipulative all this malarkey she still didn't mind you know hanging out with the guy and doing you know whatever the deed after this thing she kind of put up with him so you rape somebody like that <laughs> like not that it makes it any worse or any better but it's like jesus christ man so even the girls that you have in your harem, the ones that you're, you know, that you're rotating. So who, who do you treat well then? You don't treat the girls that you're rotating well. You don't treat the girls that you meet one time well. Like no one gets treated well. Everyone gets treated badly. Fucking hell. I'm, I'm, it's actually, it actually goes to show how graceful, patient and forgiving girls are that more stuff didn't come out about this guy allegedly before. Let's be honest. 
because we're seeing a bit of a pattern, you know, a little bit of, of, of behavior. So the fact that nothing came out about this guy prior is probably more of a reflection on how forgiving girls can be. Probably too much, to be to be honest, because, you know, unfortunately, them giving you grace and forgiving you allows you more opportunity to do more fuck shit and hurt more people, especially other women. So it's obviously horrendous. But Jesus Christ, bro. You know this girl and you're giving the ultimate like what take your clothes like oh you don't leave or take your clothes off <laughs> i don't know about you but <laughs> that sounds like force bro i'm not gonna lie about you ultimatum sound like force that sounds like intimidation and i don't know about you but intimidation is too close to me to rape personally i don't know i don't know i don't know that doesn't sound like dominate domin you know willingly being dominated or whatever it may be you know what i mean Fuck you now. And when she, she told me that story at like eight in the morning, like she came literally from my to my place, makeup on, everything, like from the night before. She was. She All right, can I just stop you there? Because this is a lot to digest. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Break it up in bits and pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So, you guys were at the club. Yeah. We normally leave together on whatever it is. So mm -hmm. she went back, got ready for a night with Finn or whatever. She was taking a bit long. He was downstairs waiting. I'm down. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what we heard. So again, we don't know if that story is true or not. We have to kind of wait how it, to see how it plays out. But still, not the best, not the best thing in it, in the world for him. And there's loads of other clips I've also gone viral that I've seen online. People posting about him and the things that he's done in the past. Especially, there's that dating show actually, that 20 v one. I'll probably do a reaction to that another time where, um, you know, some of his actions or some of his behavior to some of the girls was a little bit questionable. And the thing is, though, what I've noticed is that a lot of people were saying that he's a little bit like from what I've said as well, my reaction, he was always a little bit of, of aggressive and pesty and, you know, whatever, when it came to girls and they called it out then. So there's this narrative people are saying about, oh, your friend should have said something. Bro, the whole Internet was saying things in the Internet, social media comments even the girls on the show will be acting a certain way so it wasn't like he didn't know that people were aware of his behavior and maybe change it because people are noticing what you're doing he just chose to do it you just continue to keep doing it and um yeah we are where we are at the, at the moment with the situation so um i think what his next court his court date is going to be december or something right crazy like that i remember i said in the last stream and he has to stay in australia until that time and he has to go to the um post sorry to the police station um every week <laughs> on a thursday at a particular time to go and sign in and shit which is fucking cr which means most likely every week that he goes to the police station there'll be a member of the press outside that police station trying to fucking you know ambush him to ask questions and shit which is going to be its own type of hell you know maybe in this situation he probably deserves it who knows but that's a mad situation absolute mad 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 situation